Morning, my friends. I'm just waking up and I'm in one of those moods. I'm having fun. I'm in one of those moods, waking up. YouTube recommending me the new world. Let's see what's let's see what's in the new world. A local man is out of a job tonight after he's fired from a security company. All uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. We live in backwards, stupid idiot clown world full of the dumbest fucking idiots. Let's see. Can you even consider the fucking retard a man? I guarantee you he doesn't consider himself a man. If we asked his mother, well, his mother would tell us it's the farthest thing away from a man. The Taylor Swift Eras Tour. Fox 9's Mary McGuire explains why he was let go and how he's now trying to, well, shake it off. Look at their words. We still use these words. Instead of fired, people get our let go. That's one that's been going on for the longest time. Hey guys, it would be offensive. Well, let's see. The person is really fired in the real world. They have to suffer the consequences of being fired. But you know what would be nice to all the people that weren't fired? We'll say that he was let go. Why he was let go and how he's now trying to, well, shake it off. What started as a love story has turned into a crime. This is the gayest shit I ever seen in my entire life. I think that this dumb fuck idiot piece of shit little fucking retard kid. How is, how is that supposed to be security? Yeah, we live in stupid idiot world. I think this moron didn't get his ass kicked enough as a kid. Summer for Calvin Denker. I handed in my polo and... Oh, hey, bro. Hey, bro. You're, you're supposed to be a security guard? That don't make sense. You sure, um, could you protect anybody from anything at any time ever, any situation at all with your, uh, your fancy lisp? Not, not only do you weigh 90 pounds and you couldn't protect anybody and you'd get your ass beat in one fucking second, you got a handy dandy lisp on top of it. Escorted out of the How cute. Stadium. He has worked as a security guard with That doesn't crowd. that doesn't look gay. That doesn't look like when I'm saying gay, I mean gay in a lesbian female supremacy type way. Cause that's what this is. It's like Taylor Swift is a lesbian. Then guys are gonna simp after that, that's the female, that's the world of female supremacy. All the women are in love with the women and then men are made slaves. So, I mean, is this not what that is? For two years, patrolling everything from sporting events to weddings and of course concerts. Guy, hey guys, he's patrolling. Did you hear how the new, this guy's patrolling weddings, guys? This guy's a hardcore security guard here. Stadium. He has worked as a security guard with Best Crowd Management for two years, patrolling everything from sporting events to weddings and, of course, concerts like Taylor Swift's mega popular... Do, do you guys not understand the vibe? Isn't it? Isn't that the vibe? The vibe is lesbian female supremacy. Tour. It wasn't even in our schedule yet, but they said, hey, be aware of this because this is going to be an all hands on deck situation. As a massive Swifty himself, he immediately signed up to work both nights of the show. Walking into the stadium. Uh, uh, as a massive Swifty. Hey guys, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. See, it's a secret from these people. These people are so brain dead and stupid, they don't even like Taylor Swift. They're told to like Taylor Swift. Isn't that interesting? None of them. This whole, this whole thing of where Taylor Swift is so fucking humongous. Taylor Swift is not Michael Jackson. Taylor Swift is not some <laughs> grand fucking thing. Um, these are stupid people. These are, this is how you know, this is how you know what people to round up, put in a concentration camp and kill. These are the stupid backwards fucking mind-fucked lefty fucking idiots that are made for concentration camps. They ruin the world. You know how to find them all? You create this character, Taylor Swift, 
Then you, you put them all in one spot. Then you can round them up, put them in concentration camps, and kill all these people. You can tell them it's Disneyland. It's just the same as Taylor Swift. They don't even know why they would like Taylor Swift in the first place. They've just been told to. Well, did you know you can tell these same people to like the concentration camp? And they'll do the same thing. All the same thing that they're doing with Taylor Swift, they'll do with the concentration camp, and they'll happily kill themselves in it had no idea he would be assigned to the front row, even undergoing additional background checks from Taylor's security team. He wanted to remember the experience, but couldn't take any photos himself or turn around at any point. I knew how close she was getting to me, and I, I just needed something to document. Isn't it weird? It's like how a gay man loves female supremacy. It's real fucker, because there's, where, there's nowhere where this guy has, like, a sexual attraction or love or any of that. This guy's clearly fucking gay. He's clearly gay. And he's simping for lesbianism. He's simping for all men to never have sex again and females rule the world memory from that night so calvin got creative not to break the rules passing out these laminated notes to some nearby concert goers and it says hi i'm not allowed to use my phone at any point tonight can you please take a photo of me with taylor swift behind me and text it to my phone number his fellow swifties delivered wow what a piece of shit this guy is videos were pretty incredible but calvin says the response they're secure... the pictures are pretty incredible this is what the, this generation lives for this kind of shit company he worked for um somebody that's not taylor swift's not even worth being a celebrity taylor swift doesn't even qualify for celebrity status and that, of course just like how joe biden doesn't qualify to be president anything but after this video of Calvin singing went viral, he got a talking to from Human Resources. So th this is how stupid this ended up to be. Hey guys, I'm just I'm just having fun waking up this morning. This is what the world recommends for me to watch. I thought I would share it with all of you. He wasn't officially fired then. Uh, the world needs to fuck off and die. Every single person in it is just an absolute piece of fucking shit. Die, motherfucker, die. Die, world, and everybody in it. Fucking die. A month and a half later, he was assigned to work the edge. Yeah, here's somebody that doesn't deserve to exist. Show me another news story. Show me somebody else that just doesn't, it just isn't worthy to exist. See, 10 years ago, it, it more it's, it's more like 15 years ago. You wouldn't be able to say anything like that. It wouldn't make fucking sense. These days? Oh, the world's a completely different place these days. Concert. Do you know who made it like this? Who made the world like it is these days? I would I could couldn't imagine if it, it was an army of dudes like this. Oh, you can you can't even consider him a dude. You can't even consider him a human being. He's turned himself into something that can't even be considered life. Seven hours into his shift there, when he got pulled off the floor and was talked to again by HR. No, I did reach out to Best Crowd Management, and in a statement, they did confirm that Calvin is no longer employed with the company. They added in part their clear company policies ensure smooth operations for clients. Oh, they, they did that. These people must actually fall for that shit. They live in a whole world of fake things. So they didn't get fired. They think of it as, no, I, let, I, got, I was let go. No, the company just let me go. I wasn't fired. There's a difference between being fired and let go. Is that the kind of things that these um, backward, stupid people think? And attendees. Calvin does have another full-time job, so the loss of this gig hasn't been financially devastating. But it's so, so the news, uh, oh, this is a rich kid from a rich family, so the, they're letting me know that, ooh, it didn't hurt him. When it hurts everybody else if they lost their job, they'd have the fear of going homeless. But this is a fake news story where they make it on rich kids. So rich kids can look important and popular even though they're supposed to be doing something wrong. He's still got his fame. 
He's still got to be the, the big guy. He still got to, his, his mommy and daddy probably paid for it. He, he couldn't do well, well being number one at Taylor Swift, but he sure did get himself on the news. Oh, you're going to be so internet famous. Oh, isn't it just great? This backwards world that we live in where nobody's deserving of anything at all, all ruled by people like this. Very disappointing. I wouldn't do it again. If I'm I wouldn't. Would you talk with your lisp again? What, 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 what is it that you wouldn't do again? I would hope that you would say, fuck, I'll never talk with a lisp again. Devastating, but it has been very disappointing. I wouldn't do it again. No, what is it? No, what are you not going to do again? Talk with a lisp? If I was given the opportunity, but I do have no regrets about what I did that night. Oh, of course you don't. Of, of course you don't. Because you're, um, yeah. So the world thought that this was somehow important for me to, to see. So I thought that I would, um, yeah, share it with everybody. Um, the world should kill itself. The world, take a gun, put it in your mouth, and blow your fucking head off world and all of its people. You don't deserve to live. You're complete fucking shit. Every last fucking person.